Hey guys and welcome back to Best Car Picks. Upstart off-road brand Ineos has unveiled its first double cab ute, with the Grenadier Quartermaster revealed at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in the UK. The Grenadier-based pickup is the second model in the Ineos family, following the Defender-style off-road SUV that has launched in Australia, but you'll need to find more than $100,000 to put one in your driveway. The Quartermaster will touch down in three Helix and Ranger dwarfing trim levels, with the entry level, Quartermaster, kicking off at $110,000 plus on roads. There's then a Quartermaster Trailmaster edition, and a Fieldmaster edition, the first focused on off-road capability, the second on more luxurious trimmings, both of which will set you back $123,000. All three are powered by the same BMW supplied engine choices, a 3.0L straight 6 turbo petrol or a 3.0L straight 6 twin turbo diesel, both paired with an 8-speed ZF automatic, and Ineos is promising, world-class off-road ability, including 264mm of ground clearance, 800mm in waiting depth, and, approach, Breakover and departure angles unrivaled by any other series production pickup. It's based on the existing Grenadier, but the Quartermaster is actually 545mm longer, 5400mm vs 4855mm, allowing for a sizable, and Euro pallet friendly, bed that measures 1564mm long and 1619mm wide. Payload is pegged at 760 kilograms, while towing is a sizable 3,500 kilograms braked, and the bed is equipped with four tie-down rings, or an optional utility rail, with a 1,280 millimeters tailgate that can hold 225 kilograms when folded down. It promises to be a beast off-road, too, with a center differential lock and a two-speed transfer case for low-range 4WD and with 36.2, 26.2 and 22.6 approach, breakover and departure angles. Front and rear diff locks are standard on the Trailmaster version, or a $4,105 option on the other models. I think it is a great looking vehicle, it is truly rugged and unbeatable off-road, said Ineos Automotive CEO, Lynn Calder. The petrol-powered Quartermaster will produce 210 kilowatts and 450 newton meters, while the diesel version generates 249 kilowatts and 550 newton meters. This is a big and heavy, more than 3.5 ton vehicle, though, so expect a leisurely climb to 100 kilometers per hour of 8.8 .8 and 9.8 .8 seconds, respectively. Fuel use is also not a strong suit with the petrol demanding 12.6 L, 100 km, and the diesel drinking 10.5 L, 100 km. The order books for the Grenadier Quartermaster are now open. What you can't get now, though, is the next generation of Grenadier product, with the brand using Goodwood to also flag future hydrogen fuel cell tech for its future products, and calling on the government of the UK, and bodies around the world, to back the technology and to build the corresponding infrastructure. The company behind the Grenadier and Quartermaster, Ineos, says it produces 400,000 tons of hydrogen per annum, and says while BevTech, which it is also working on, will solve shorter trips, hydrogen fuel cell tech would be the answer to those seeking longer journeys with shorter refuel times. The brand has built a demonstrator, fuel cell grenadier, though as yet to say when the technology might reach production stages. The hydrogen-powered grenadier demonstrator along with our all-electric model due in 2026, shows INEOS, commitment to net zero. BEVs are perfect for certain uses, shorter trips, most private car journeys and urban deliveries, whilst hydrogen FCEVs are more suited for longer trips, heavy-duty cycles where batteries impact too much on payload and where long range between stops is necessary, said Ineos CEO Lynn Calder. Ineos also produces 400,000 tons of hydrogen per annum and is committed to hydrogen as a key fuel of the future. 
Our demonstrator proves that the technology is capable, but what we need now is support from policy makers to help provide the infrastructure for the next generation of hydrogen vehicles. Hope you enjoyed the video, do subscribe for more such interesting content, thank you for watching my video.